Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Banjo Tooie. It's been a long time, I know, my apologies. Had some issues with uh, re recording this. Um, ergo, I screwed up in the recording at one point in time, so yeah. I'm back, I finally got it fixed up. Hopefully, the totals aren't totally screwed up. Hey, how you doing? Hey, hey, hey. I'm just gonna send my buddy up here. I was going to send Pierre over to you, but apparently Pierre doesn't like metal. Oopsie. Alright, sweet! Yippee! Black Ginger family is complete! They'd like you to have the family heirloom! Yay! Now, quick moment, y'all. Check this out. Ready? Hallelujah! 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 We now have every single Jinjo rescued in this game. If you followed up to this point, and hopefully if I didn't screw something up, you know, in the totals, or forget to collect something in between recordings and whatnot, you know, because I, like I said, I messed up a few times. We are up to date. Now, let's go ahead and take care of Wumba stuff. You have Globo? What to give to Humba? Welcome back, by the way. Thanks, Humba. Yeah, sure. I'll just throw this last one in. Happy trails, buddy. <laughs> Doesn't even seem to mind. Magic ready? Jump on my pool. No cannonballs, please. Duh. But it's the last one. All right, here we go, guys. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Oh, the irony, isn't it? Oh, you've got to be freaking kidding me. B. Certain oh, I already knew, guys. I'm sorry. Mamba call this B. Same controls as before, except for one minor chip bit. You may use Z for your stinger attack. Yep. So the B controls the exact same way it did in the previous game. I'm a B. I'm a B. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a B. So it may seem kind of anticlimactic to have this transformation, but. Given that we can actually attack and, you know, we have a creature that can fly through this entire world, I'd say that's actually... I can I can let it slide. Despite all the bees that killed me in this game. <laughs> Someone's in the air! Defend your Jiggy at all costs! Alright, that's about it. I've had enough of you firing your nasty eyeballs at me. Time for you to go down. Quick! You fool! Pass the Jiggy on! Yep, that's right. One of the things we gotta do is we gotta take our bee friend. Thinking bee! Thinking bee! Thinking bee! And we gotta go around destroying these Planticus whatchamacallits. Um, there are a total of four if I remember right. Hopefully I didn't, like, pass over it accidentally. I know there's one over here, but hopefully it's... Is it the one that I'm looking for, though? That's a good question. Mm, yes, yes. Oh, well, I ponder that. I hope you all have been having a wonderful summer. That is... Yes, it is. Okay. Ow, you butt face. Actually, you eyeball face. I shouldn't say eyeball. Actually, you know what? Wart face. There you go. That'll work. You know, because you think of eyeballs and warts. They just kind of go together when you hear, like, witches brewing their stew or something. What the heck is that adding? Oh, that's above the pink mumbo house. Okay, that's not too bad. Can we? Uh, yeah, we have... We couldn't even get to this. At least not without flying, anyway. As far as I know, I don't think there's anything over here. Uh, except for trouble. Where's it at? Uh, oh, it's right there. It is. It, we just couldn't see it in the distance there. No, no, no. Rapid fire equals you lose. Good day, sir, ma'am. Yeah, now what was I talking about? Oh, I was asking y'all, how is y'all summer going? Hopefully yours is going great. Uh, I don't know what time this is or what day this is. This is going up because I'm just kind of recording a bunch of videos in advance. I think I've already explained the situation in the past already, but just in case I haven't, you know, in this Let's Play, and you all are just like, exclusively watching this one. Um, long story short, I'm not in one place that one uh, a lot. A lot. I'm not in one place usually a whole bunch, so... Oh, yay. My rare eyeball is Jiggum Plants! You've killed them all, you monster! You're the monster for growing those nasty things, you creepy old witch. Now you just wait, I'm gonna come peck your butt, your bony hide, but for now, we get ourselves a deliciously delectable gold nut. Oh yeah, buzz buzz! <laughs> I can totally picture Banjo just like doing a buzz buzz noise. Thankfully not like, buzz buzz bumblebee! <laughs> yeah, none of you are probably gonna get what the heck I just did that for, but uh, there's one person who will, and if she happens to see this. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing awesome. If not, well, Hopefully this brightened your day. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Back on topic. We now have two more... Do we have two more? Yeah, we have two more golden Bing. nuggets we gotta pick up. 
So I reckon we ought to go ahead and work on getting that uh, la these last two done. So first off, let me go ahead and first for first person shooter this. Turn ourselves around, and what you want to do is you want to fire away at that statue there, the target. No, zoot this lots of times. You got it. Hey, yeah, you definitely want to make sure you give yourself plenty of space. Hopefully, I have enough. Yeah, no, I don't. Oh, yeah, yeah. There it is. Okay. Nice zooting when the come not inside. Because I don't know who's talking to me other than a buzzing bee. I mean, I remember last time in Banjo Kazooie when I went in you guys' hive, you guys about tried to kill me. But I think that was when I was a bear nasty barren bird. I think because I'm a bee, they might actually be friendly to me. Unless, of course, they caught on to my like, transformation trick. Who knows? Greetings, as you can see. We zubbers have a new nest. To celebrate, we've arranged a little zooting game. If you score 40 points or more, I will give you a prize. Manage to beat 50 points, then there's an extra special prize. Do you need any instructions? Ah, eh, we don't really need them, but I'm gonna let you guys see them. Alright, real easy. It basically is a lot like the submarine game, except we're flying instead of underwater. And like all the other games in the past, we have a certain amount of time. Uh, blue ones are worth three points, green ones are two points, and of course, the red ones are worth one point. And may I say, sweet justice this is going to be. All those bees that tried to that kept killing me in the past, I now can have my revenge on some bees. Oh yeah. Okay, seriously? I was gonna say, where, where are the bees at? Where are the white women at? Oh no. Sorry, I was trying to, I'm not trying to be nasty or racist, I was actually trying to quote something from a song that I heard from White Chicks a long time ago. Yeah, so my apologies if that came across as me being nasty or like, oh, what a pig, I swear, you know. I know sometimes when I say things, I'm like, maybe they didn't quite catch the reference there. Because I'm not, I usually, I'm actually a very shy and quiet individual, you know, I'm very reserved in terms of like how I am when I speak to people, especially those who I don't know. But sometimes I'll quote stuff and then people will be like, what the hell did you just say to me? You son of a biscuit eater! You schmuck, I oughta smack you silly for that! And you're totally failing here, what, what, what's going on, man? 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 Seriously? Okay, we did this. Nice zooting, you scored enough win to second prize. That's not all. But wait, there's more, more, more! Sorry, let's try to do the Billy Mays. Amazing! You also look good enough to win first prize, too. <gasps> Gold nugget! Covered in honeycombs, man. Banjo's favorite. Sweet! Or as uh, Zubba would say, sweet. Seriously, though, I don't know how you would say a Z really this way. I mean, I understand three Zs means zzz, like you're sleeping. And I don't mind putting an emphasis on the Z, even though it probably doesn't do any favors to my poor sound of, uh, poor microphone. In fact, I don't know how much, like, editing I'm gonna have to do to, like, make it bearable on you guys' ears. But, I don't know how to, like, when you put random Zs in random places, I don't know how you're supposed to say that, other than make a buzzing noise, you know. I'm guessing that's what it's supposed to be. Dude, where is this Cheeto page at? I've already passed like three times, didn't I? Yeah, so four times, probably. Golly. How do you guys put up with me? I don't even know. Do you want to play again? Nah, yeah, that's good. Thank you, though. Oh, sweet, and it took us out. Side two automatically. Nice. Coolness. Alright, so we pretty much were done with the bee, sadly. I mean, we could take this and tour the island a little bit, but there's nothing else we can really do. So let's make our way back to Wumble Wigwams, shall we? Ever do that again. Ugh. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just kind of wound up. I'm excited! Woo! I'm finally glad to be playing this game, man. You have no idea. It's been like probably about four or five, probably a month to a month and a week, plus one week, you know, since I last played this and edited, edited any Banjo Tooie, so. Needless to say, my future self's gonna be kind of happy. He's like, oh, yay, man, I get to edit Banjo Tooie! Even though every time he says, Go, it! I gotta remember to put that stupid 
like jiggy and which isn't like stupid but it's just it's a pain in the booty having to remember to do that every single time go nugget go nugget go nugget go nugget i'm sorry did i make some more work for you for yourself shucks shame on me shame on me go nugget okay sorry all right that's enough being a stoop being a stupid idiot a morris ronald you know an ignoramus oh, well no not an ignoramus you are such an ignoramus! Those are speedboat salesmen! Cops! Tch, sorry, I have no idea why that quote came to my mind, but it sure did. Alright, so you're probably- Well, I just did the alright, so... Here we go. The episode turned to crap ever since I said that. Alright, so... I'm gonna awkwardly detonate a transition here because I don't know how to enter a conversation without sounding like I gotta be in complete total control. I swear, man, you can't spell control without troll. troll a lol 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 <sighs> Now that I'm done with my tangent, we have, um, a need to visit Mumbo's new neighbor. Or at least the Mumbo school that we discovered is a very much... I mean, besides the different shape... or different shape... besides different shade and color compared to our friend Mumbo's hut, we gotta see what this number neighbor's all about. Maybe they'll, like transform us, or maybe they'll do some more magic for us. Hmm. I don't know. That's odd. This mumbo looks a lot like the mumbo we know. Hmm. Maybe they're distant cousins. Let's find out. Hey, sorry to disturb you. I just drop it in. Hello, Banjo. Mumbo has big surprise for you. Ooh, I like surprises. Okay. Hold up your tidy waddies. Here we go. And... Ow! What the hell is your problem? Hi, 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 foolish bear. You fell straight into my trap. I am not that pathetic shaman you think I am. I'm Minji Jungle, and your worthless quest ends here. As you can see, there's no escape, and resistance is futile. Who the hell invited this Terminator freak of nature? Oh, great. I guess Grunty failed to mention she had one more baddie lined up for us to defeat. Ugh. My elaborate disguise is ruined, revealing my evil psychoticness. Great. I'm guessing Grunty was planning on using this as maybe a means for cloning and then, like, replacing us with evil versions. And then maybe using it to frame us as, like, bad guys instead of good guys. Either way, we gotta get rid of this nasty thing, because we don't need Mumbo being look looking like a bad bud. And I mean that in the wrong kind of light, of course. So anyway, I should probably explain what the heck I'm doing. You pretty much just have to run in, a run in and attack him. Alternatively, in this next phase, what you can do is you can break out the grenade eggs. And dodge his attacks. They're actually not too bad. They home in on you a little bit. The hardest ones to dodge are the ones when he's in the middle of the room. But usually what I do is, whenever he's doing this crap here where he's doing this teleporting mess, ouch, is I just dodge four times because it's the same amount every single time. And then after the fourth one, I just shoot a grenade egg like in his general direction and generally it will get him. So I don't have to worry about like, you know, being within a certain distance to attack him. Actually, True story, y'all. I thought you could only damage him with grenade eggs when I first fought this guy. And so, needless to say, I had a heck of a time. Because my noob self didn't know you could actually attack this guy using the, like, beak bash or anything like that. Ow, you butt face. That hurt. And like I said, probably better off just using the Wonder Ring for that move. Speaking of which... Oh, dude! You totally, like, cock-blocked me, man. I was totally gonna, like, knock you out with an epic destroyed move. Whatever. Oh, yep. Right up close, right in your face. I calculate my chances of stopping you are now mid, 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 mid. Ew, you nasty. Oh, you nasty. Snotting all over me with your gooey juices. Ooh, a gold Ew. nugget. Nice. Well, that was a nice surprise. Well, so much for me and a nice neighbor. I feel kind of bad. We kind of just, like, you know, just wrecked his... Wrecked the crap out of him. We just stole his gold nugget. Oh, well. Life goes on, you know? Life goes on. <laughs> Jeez, I gotta stop being, like, an idiot.
So normally people probably like go in and take care of that first, but I'm like, eh, it's kind of a climactic fight. I want to save that for last. Because, I mean, it's just... Dude, you get to fight an evil version of Mumbo. That is kick-ass, man. I don't know, man, I don't mean to say anything, but that is just freaking awesome, man. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Good grief. Well, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, grannies, grandpas, babies, and everybody else in the world, thank you for watching. Love you bunches. Please don't let tails fly up. And in the next video, we are going to be doing a little backtracking. We're going to do some cleanup on the last few worlds that we have to backtrack to. We're going to enter in our last cheat. I'll probably try to take time to, to talk, talk about that, what that does. And then we're officially going to go right after Grunty's bony butt. And we're going to kick it all over the Jinjo village and back to teach her a lesson from causing the mess that she has made. But be that as it may, we can't do that in this video. We're going to have to do that next time. So in the meantime, question of the video. Woo! Do you like blowing bubbles? If so, what is the biggest bubble you have? You can show me, you can tell me roughly like it's about your finger length size. It was like, oh, I don't blow bubbles. I think they're stupid. Or laugh out loud, blow bubbles. He he he. You know, whatever you want to respond with, that's fine. But let me know in the comments. I'll be glad to read them. Thanks, guys and gals for watching. Love bunches. Don't chill swap. And take care, y'all. Peace.